In this video, you are going to be learning about the divide feature inside ZBrush that will allow you to subdivide your objects to higher polygons and allow for high resolution sculpting. Also giving you the ability to walk between subdivisions to have better sculptural control with your lower and higher poly counts. To start off this demonstration, I'm going to load my Cube 3D which is activated in my tool palette here. First, I would like to view the topology of this cube, so I'm going to enable this into polyframe mode by clicking this icon here or using the keyboard shortcut Shift F. If I wanted to begin sculpting on this cube, you can see by clicking on it, ZBrush is asking me to convert this primitive into a polymesh 3D. To do this, click the Make Polymesh button located here in the tool palette. So now that I have my cube enabled for sculpting, I'd like to go in and add some high resolution sculptural detail to this. First, I'll switch my brush to the Clay Buildups brush. Instantly, when I begin to sculpt, you can see that this low resolution vertex count doesn't allow for the high resolution sculpting that I'm looking to add. What I would like to do is add a subdivision level to this cube, which will divide each poly, giving me more vertex points to sculpt on. To add a subdivision level, first I'll demonstrate by clicking the keyboard shortcut Control D. You can see the cube has smoothed out along the edges and more vertex points have been added which is allowing me for a bit more resolution to sculpt with. To access the divide button located in the tool palette, scroll down to the geometry sub palette and you can see we have the divide button here. Slightly above the divide we also have this slider which has a number 2 telling us we currently have two subdivision levels on our object. If I drag this slider down to the first level, our active points count located here at the top is telling me that I have 544 points. If I slide back to the second level, we have almost quadrupled that number at around 2000 polys. Now that you have the ability to divide your mesh, it's important to know how much resolution or how many polys are needed to get the details we're looking to add. In the next portion of this video, I'm going to switch to a tool that already has subdivisions. By opening up Lightbox here, I can load in the Demo Head tool. So far we've learned the Divide button or Control D allows us to subdivide our mesh to add more polygon resolution for sculpting. The slider allows us to move between our lowest and highest subdivisions. An easier way to work with the slider is by using the keyboard shortcut Shift D to move down to the lowest division and D to move up to the highest. If I wanted to continue sculpting at even higher resolutions by dividing or hitting Control D you can see I can easily divide this mesh up to the millions of polygons. When working with subdivisions depending on your system hardware ZBrush will allow you to easily sculpt with millions of polygons which will give you the capability to sculpt details like skin pores, wrinkles, use alphas for texturing, and any refined detailing you may be working on. Another feature unique to ZBrush is HD Geometry, which will enable you to work with billions of polygons, which we will be discussing in later videos. For the purpose of this video, it's important to know how to add and operate basic subdivisions. Now that we have discussed the basics of adding subdivisions for higher resolution sculpting, I would like to discuss another option in the geometry palette called the Subdiv Smooth Modifier. To demonstrate this, I'm going to reload the Cube 3D we originally started with and make this a poly mesh. If I turn on Polyframe or click Shift F, you can see we are back to where we started with the same number of polys. You can find the Subdiv Smooth Modifier button next to the Divide button in the Geometry Palette. By default, this button is enabled automatically in ZBrush. When the Smooth Modifier is pressed, the mesh will be smoothed when divided. If I undo with Control Z and disable the Subdiv Smooth Modifier, now by adding a few subdivisions you can see that ZBrush is keeping those hard edges of the cube and still allowing you to add more polygons to the mesh. By disabling the smooth modifier, ZBrush is giving you the capability to work with hard surface subdivisions based on your topology 
and control how much smoothness you have between subdivisions. If I were to go in with the clay buildup brush and do some sculpting on the cube, you can see by subdividing up that it would appear that we are still working with a lower poly count because we still have these crisp edges. With the modifier disabled, ZBrush is retaining these crisp edges as we divide up our mesh. So far I have divided up to 525,000 polys with the smooth modifier off. If I were to turn this back on and divide up even more to about 8 million polys, you can see the surface is beginning to smooth out between subdivisions. So this just allows me to manually control how much smoothness or crisp edges I have on my object depending on my needs. While working with multiple subdivisions, you also have the ability to delete your lower and higher division levels. I'm currently on the highest level and this delete higher button is grayed out. If I click shift D to walk down to my fifth level, I can now click the delete higher button and remove the sixth division leaving me with my new highest level of 131,000 polys instead of 500,000. If I click Shift D down to my third level, I have the option of deleting both my lower and higher subdivisions. By deleting lower, you can see that my third level of 8,000 polys has now become my first, and my highest is roughly at 131,000. In later videos, it will become clear on why you would want to remove lower and higher levels, but for now it's important to know that these buttons are giving you more control over your subdivision levels. If you find yourself working on a sculpt and you realize that you've accidentally deleted your lowest levels or that you don't have a low enough subdivision to work with, you have the ability to use the reconstruct subdivision feature. Located in the geometry palette above the divide button, the reconstruct feature attempts to rebuild a lower resolution mesh from the current lowest level. If successful, the new mesh level becomes level 1 and the previously selected level becomes level 2. So you can see that by simply clicking this button, I'm able to rebuild back to my original poly count of 544 points. With this, I have the ability to go even lower, but at this stage it's important to know that you have the option to rebuild previously stored levels.